Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Tabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with my Flower Fairy um, bits and bobs. And I've pulled in some of my ready-made pieces, you know, from our mass making sessions. And I thought we could just decorate up some of these mass made bits with some of the flower fairy um, bits and pieces to make some things because yeah I would very much like to make a flower fairy journal I think um, but you know it would be really fantastic if actually I had you know a lot of bits kind of ready to put in there so I've torn out um, some of the pages that I thought that I would quite like to use now I've said before this is from that complete book of flower fairies and um, yeah the, <laughs> the main problem with that book is that of course all the images are so beautiful that it's actually really hard to then kind of narrow it down and decide which you know which pieces that you want to actually use um but that being said i have picked you know i have picked some bits and pieces here so yeah let's get just making so i've picked this one now <laughs> at first glance i'm now wondering why have i chosen this to go with this because i'm not so sure where it goes but let's let's see if it does <laughs> let's see if we can make it go uh oh right you know when you choose some things sometimes and then you're just like what was i thinking it's one of those moments like what was i thinking why why would i have chosen that oh dear right okay that's just fingers crossed that we're going to be able to make this work after all so yeah okay i think we will be able to make this work well let's let's hope anyway i feel i feel reasonably confident let's just say so yeah let's put that there now obviously this is flimsy um you know uh paper so i want to just reinforce it now i've got some bits of paper here beside me i'm just kind of rummaging through okay because i just want to obviously have it on something that's a little bit more sturdy and not going to be um you know, I'm not saying it's going to break, but you know, so it's holding a little bit better. So yeah, something like that, I'm thinking. Okay, so that's quite nice. Now, let's just, should we cut this down a bit further? I mean, I don't want to kind of lose her as such, but having said that, she is quite massive on there so far. So let's just take her down a little bit more. Okay. Okay, right, and then let's just glue her. Now obviously I've just got that sort of yellow flower there, so I'm just deciding do I want to include the yellow flower and, you know, embrace it or try and hide it and get rid of it. Um, hmm, not sure. I'm not sure if I'm truthful. Yeah, not sure at all. Oh, come on. This is a brand new glue. I've only used it one time. So... I can't believe that we're here already. Here already, having to unclog it. I really must um, start using those sugar bell bottles again. It, you know, it did make such a difference, right? Okay. So let's pop this down. Oops. Like that. Okay, right. Let's just spread this out nicely okay let's just cut this down oh dear gone in very very close to it on this side oh dear that was unintentional didn't mean to get quite so close it's not that close on the other sides but never mind it will hopefully still it will hopefully still look okay Right, let me just pull in, I've got those lilac and type flowers. So yeah, let's just pull in some of those flowers that I got from Amazon. So again, let's just, oops, oh come on. Ah. Okay, right, so I'm thinking, if I put this here, it just covers up that yellow flower just because, you know, that yellow flower kind of didn't look in keeping, obviously, to the rest of the stuff that was on here, which is kind of pinky and lilac-y. So let me just move my, my camera slightly. Right, so let's just staple that onto there. I mean, 
I know I say this all the time. I really like the staples. Obviously, you know, if you don't like staples, you wouldn't, wouldn't be using the staples. But yeah, I just think they're actually really, you know, really nice. So, and I'm just going to then put a little bit of glue to just help that flower kind of stay put because it's, you know, it's wanting to spring up a little bit. So, yeah. Oh, oh that flower had two, two layers of petals, would you believe? These flowers, I think, are only like single petals normally. So, yeah, that was kind of a bonus one. And I hadn't realised that, which is annoying because had I realised it, I would have obviously stapled it, you know, like at opposite sides. Let me see if I can just rip this out. Oh, dear. This is a how not to. So, yeah, please ignore what I'm doing here. How not to craft. Oh, come on. I've got this horrible feeling that it's just going to be ripped to shreds by the time it actually comes out. If it even comes out, it's not, it's not wanting. Oh, look, just ripped the staple out. What a muppet. Right, let's go again. So let's put it down there. So it's like overlapped, you know, on the spaces or on the gaps. So let's just take my stapler. Oops. Come on. Yay, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, that is better. Right, so let's go with this. Now, this is my pink Parisian papers. So, yeah, I'm thinking kind of put it with this. Now, am I wanting it which side? Yeah, probably, I think probably this side. So I'm going to stick it, I think, on this side here. And then I probably want to do something lilac-y like over here, I think. Um, although, to be honest, I mean, strange how it doesn't actually look as bad as you'd imagine. I'm just going to have a quick sip of my tea. Okay, right. So, yeah, shall we put that like that now? Thinking we're going to go with Velcro on here as the closure. So yeah, let's just glue this down. Now I'm just going to use my hot glue. It's just, you know, nice and quick and easy. And I say it all the time, I'm like just a scratch record, but yeah, it's just nice and quick and easy. And I don't have to worry, is it glued down or not? You know, I just know that it is. So it's definitely, you know, for me, it's definitely a very, you know, preferred way of attaching things. So, I mean, I'm not saying everything, obviously, but yes, a lot of things I think are just awesome with the with the hot glue. Right, okay, so that's like that. Now, over here, I'm thinking, what should I put down there to try and get some purpley kind of shades going on? So I'm just having a quick look through my papers that I've got to the side. Or we have got the hmm. I mean I wonder whether we could have this I don't know oh that's kind of quite nice isn't it I do know I really did not have high hopes for that at all thought it was going to look pretty rubbish but actually it looked quite nice on there didn't it so I'm thinking cover up that boot with the the fairy so let's just take this straight edge off because yeah that's not that great is it and then if we had him here and obviously we'd have to then you know trim off that edge that's fine but yeah I actually quite like that it looks a lot better than I'd expected so I'll just quickly finish my tea Well, not necessarily finish it, but, you know, have a bit more of it. Okay. And then do we want some book page or something on here as well? So let me just pull in my book page. Okay. Oops. Just dropping those flowers now everywhere. Hold on. Oh, 
Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? So, yeah, let's just pop this down. Oops. Like that. And like that and then yeah we're going to stick the um you know the fairy itself and then obviously like i say we're going to have to obviously trim off you know the bit that's overhanging that's fine okay Okay, right. Let's just take that edge off. Okay, that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So now I guess what we want to do is just incorporate a bit of the colours, you know, from each of the pieces. So I know this looks like a crazy choice and I'm not saying this is my choice yet, but... It was just, it was to the side and I thought, oh, I mean, that's like perfect for that, um, you know, uh, coordinating with that, isn't it? Now, I'm not saying that it's it's perfect full stop because, you know, it is, like I say, a bit of a bit of a brave choice. But, you know, sometimes brave is good, isn't it? So, yeah, let's just kind of cut this down. Obviously, this is a bit of a strange shape now. It's obviously, you know, been used for something else and, yeah, it's... And they're like lost its lost its shape where it's been cut down several times. But I mean, I'm thinking kind of if I have that there, it's just bringing in this colour over here, which you know it just helps to kind of um, like bring the two pieces together. So I'm just going to glue that on like that. And again, you know, I mean that's like even sort of a bit ruffled up now I don't mind that that's all good it you know it just all all yeah all brings it together oops let's just see what other flowers and things I've got okay oops let's have a look now what if we had that there It's just now balancing out and deciding, you know, how much of what colours we want. Now, we've got these purples, which I'm kind of thinking maybe I need some purple over here. Let me just finish my tea. Okay, right. Uh, uh, what have I got that's purple is the question. I've got some of these flowers, which oh, I mean, that's very lilac rather than purple, but and is that a bit too bulky for this? Mm. Put that there for a minute while I just have a think about it, you know, because it, it might be okay, it might not. I don't know whether they're like too much in line with each other. Um, let me have a look through my postage stamps and see see what colour postage stamps I've got. Ooh, look, I've got some good good coloured postage stamps here. I always seem to get quite a few, um, you know, purples and things in the postage stamps, don't you? Yeah. Let's pop this one down. Okay. And then what about over this side? Do we have anything a bit more lilac? I'm not sure I really can picture many lilac stamps, to be honest, but you, you know, you never can tell. I can't remember obviously most of them, but uh, we've got this. I know it's not lilac, but you know, similar ish. The lilac and it's a little bit on the big side which is a shame isn't it because it would cover his head it's a shame I've glued him down already because otherwise it could have poked out I guess from behind 
Um, I mean, we could have it like that, I suppose. It's not too, too bad. Should we pop it down there? Like that. Okay. Yeah, like that. Now, let's just see. Oh, I don't know now. Um, or do we need something? You know, I'm kind of thinking, do we need something a bit more um, pale up there? You know, a little bit less. Less of a bold statement, more of a delicate thing going on over there. You know, because obviously everything's very bold at the moment, isn't it? We've got, like, the bold pink. We've got the bold, you know... Um, stamps you know do we need something actually a little bit less bold to make it look a bit more you know toned down a bit toned down uh, right i've got some fussy cuts here let me see whether i've got any oh, what a shame that that's so massive because uh it's not bad color wise is it Now the problem is both these doors open so I can't really have this hanging off because then it's going to obviously, you know, it would get um, like squashed and crumpled when it's, when it's opening. Oh, I quite like it like that, weirdly enough. Oh, that looks really, really pretty. Yeah, I love that. So I'm going to have that like, yeah, half hanging off. So, right. Okay. Just want to try and put it a little bit further over, but yeah, like that. Now I'm going to have to obviously mop this up because my gluing wasn't brilliant, but yeah, let's have that there. Oh, I love how that looks. Yeah, I haven't really done that before. Well, I don't think anyway. I might have done, but I can't remember. Um, it looks very cute, doesn't it? I have got some of these. Again, they're a little bit too big. Um, oh, I know, I just say it so often, but honestly, I mean, we have all these billions of things and just still never have quite the ideal thing, do we? But having said that, I think what is quite nice is, you know, sometimes just going through the things we have got, you know, it kind of enables you to choose things that you wouldn't necessarily have picked without having those those choices and those things you know um which is is nice isn't it i mean that's quite nice there what do we think and you know it covers up that obviously terrible edge that i've done of the lace so yeah i quite like that to be honest so let's put that one down okay like that. Oh, I love how that looks. That's really pretty. Oh, how gorgeous does that look? Now, is that, yeah. Right, I'm going to have that there. Oh, that looks so pretty. Yeah, love how that looks. That's really gorgeous really really gorgeous now do we want to round the edges or you know the corners of this yeah Oops. just kind of like um softens it doesn't it a bit so yeah let's do that Oops, didn't, didn't quite get in that corner properly because of the bow obviously but oh well oh, i might just even have just the tops just the tops rounded Oh, I love how that looks. That's so gorgeous. Now, I was thinking having Velcro here, but I'm now wondering, actually, instead of Velcro, that would I prefer to have, you know, pink or lilac baker's twine? Because I think it looks very pretty, you know, 
with the colour, if you see what I mean. So, obviously, the Velcro, you know, would be fine, but that's not bringing any colour in, is it? So, let's just try that. Cut that down. Yeah, I actually probably prefer that, to be honest. So, how gorgeous does that look? I mean, that was totally not expected at all. I have to say, it went off completely at a different sort of direction, but love how that looks right let's put that one out of the way okay let's pull in another one now all the bits that i have bought along i have to say they're all pink and um yeah i mean that was kind of a conscious effort to bring all the pink things but now i'm kind of wondering and thinking oh perhaps i should have bought some other colors along i can't actually remember all the other things that we made because that was for me you know a little while ago so now i'm like oh what other stuff did we make? Right, I'm just going to tear this down. I'm not going to fussy tear around her as such. I'm just going to kind of fussy tear around the box. Like that. Okay. Right. <gasps> My goodness, she looks absolutely yummy on there, doesn't she? I love how she looks on there. Absolutely gorgeous. Now this is just scrapbook paper, um, this little envelope. I think it's Prima. Um, yeah, I think it's Prima scrapbook paper. But my goodness, doesn't she look so pretty on there? Now again, just wondering whether I could use any postage stamps, just because I've got them here. These are all completely the wrong colour, obviously, because they're all very purple. So yeah, let's put these away. I have got some pink doily. I'm just like looking at things that are laying around the desk, if I'm truthful, you know, and thinking, oh, what could I use that's actually like laying around, you know, to get it off of the desk, really. So, yeah, let's use some of the, the pretty doily here. Okay. Like that. Okay. Let's just pop her down. Oh, she looks so gorgeous, doesn't she? I love how she looks on there. Okay, yeah, really, really, really love her on there, I must say. She looks gorgeous. Right, and this flower, I'm thinking, looks pretty. So we might be able to just have this. Oh, my goodness, how lovely does that look? Really scrumptious. Right, now this is not really the right colour, it's got to be said. Um, but I'm wondering whether, if I ink it slightly, whether it might turn into the right colour. So let's just try it a bit. Because okay. this is actually a much more of a sort of peachy, peachy pink, this paper. Or, or a ready pink. This is more of a sort of, um, I guess a sort of, yeah, lilac -y pink. Well, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. I love how that looks. Love how that looks. Honestly, I mean, these um, flower fairy images, I mean, and I have said it before, they're so gorgeous that, to be honest, you know, how could you not make them look lovely? They, you know, they just by nature, they are lovely, aren't they? Um, you know, it would be hard, hard not to have them looking gorgeous. Now, just wondering whether I could have any of the baker's twine here because um again i did really like the look of that so let's just bring this in oh actually i've got some coffee dyed ones right let's just try those actually probably without the gold i'm thinking right okay I just want to see if I've got room to have like this note and the circle. Oh, not really. Okay. Not if I want it in the middle anyway, which of course mm, you kind of would, wouldn't you? Unless I have that up somewhere else. Oh, don't know now what to do. Oh. I do really like that note. Now, it's such a shame because I've actually got these in a smaller size, but I haven't got any printed off 
Or have I? Hang on, I might have actually. I've just suddenly thought. Uh, let me just have a quick look through my little thingamajig by my desk. Uh, oh, of course I haven't. Because that would be just so easy, wouldn't it? To have them here. And of course we don't like easy. We like it all to be oh, everything but the stuff you need. Right, hold on. Oh, so I have got some here. Whether or not I've got the right colour. No, I haven't. Which we could have... We could have all guessed, couldn't we, really? Got these, but yeah, they're very lilac, aren't they? Oh, that's such a shame because... Although, to be honest, who knows? It maybe would have swamped it with the... Um, you know, the circles would have perhaps looked massive in comparison. I don't know. Oh, that's very annoying though. So I guess what I need to do is decide, do I want to have the, you know, um, the book plate or do I want to have the circle? I mean, I do love the book plate, I have to say. It looks very, very pretty. Um, right, let me just get some lace. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure that I will want lace on somewhere. Let's just take a bit of this. Oops. Okay. Uh, just seeing whether I might want to have some lace like hanging out from here. Oh, how pretty does that look? Well, do you know, I might just have it more like that. So I think what I'm going to do is just have it like that and then just have um, some Velcro dot because I, I wanted to have the Velcro dot just now. Didn't end up going with that because we went for the, the twine. Unless I just have twine. Right, let's glue this on first because then, yeah, then I can stop mucking about. Keep moving it everywhere every two seconds. Okay. Right. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? Yeah, love how that looks. Let's just see if I want to have this just tied up. Because, you know, I mean, I guess that's another alternative, isn't it? Which we didn't really even kind of think of. But, yeah, we could just have this tied in here, couldn't we? Would look quite pretty, actually. Let's just cut that down. Oh, I quite like how that looks, to be honest. Yeah, perhaps I will just go for it tied up. I mean, I can always change my mind when I actually come to use these bits. So, yeah, let's go for it like that. Now, I've just got some of my Martha Stewart butterflies, so I'm wondering if we could have a couple of those. Okay. Oh, how gorgeous. I love these Martha Stewart butterflies, and I've used them and used them, like, for years, you know, but... I mean, like I always kind of say, I mean, sometimes you just find something you love and, you know, I don't know about you guys, but if I love it, you know, once, <laughs> the chance I'm going to love it, you know, endlessly. So that's how, how I feel about these. You know, they've kind of been, yeah, just always have loved them and I still love them now. And they just, you know, they never fail to look lovely, to be honest. They're just one of those gorgeous things that, always 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 look good that one and that right there yeah oh I mean how pretty is that they look scrumptious don't they really 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 pretty yeah I love how that looks now do we want to have a pearl or anything in the center of that flower Got some pink ones actually can you see that oh let's just have that yeah that looks really pretty really really pretty okay so, okay oops 
like that. Oh, that's so gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, I love how that looks. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, yeah, really, really love that. Okay, so that's number two. Number two, down and done. Okay, we've got this one. Now, this is one of those long kind of pockets. Now, I don't know whether we're going to actually have anything that's going to fit on here. I've got this one, not my favourite. Got to be said, not my favourite at all. Let me just see what other ones we've got. And she's lovely, but she's way too big. What about this one? I mean, she's totally the wrong colour. Totally the wrong colour, but I'm wondering whether we could try and make her work. So, let's just see. I'd have to get rid of this flower because that's making her a little bit on the wide side. Um, I think if we did that, she could look okay. So yeah, let's get rid of that. Okay. I mean, because this is not an opening, pocket or anything so I mean to be honest it doesn't really matter if this one actually overhangs a little bit you know that would be fine um so yeah I think we could probably get away with this one to be honest yep let's do that and what should we have with this so I'm just having a look just wondering what um Let's just cut this in half. Just because I feel like this needs something to break up all the florals, really. Um, so, yeah, just wondered whether we might be able to, you know, have the ticket on here somehow. Maybe this, maybe this ticket here. Right, let me just now bring in the pink, or some pink shaded ink. Right, this is worn lipstick. Now I'm pretty sure that this is quite bright, so I hope I'm not going to muck it up here. Ooh, it's quite likely to be honest. Yeah, stranger things have happened, that's for sure. Right, let's just quickly switch out my blendy sponges okay right <gasps> oh no fracking let's try and go around the edge a bit like that okay like that and yep lovely doesn't she so let's just ink this up a bit okie dokie now obviously because she's got that bluey um you know bluey purple i'm wondering whether i could actually introduce that as a bit of a color on here which would you know sort of break it up a bit um let's have a look now, will I be able to find something that's quite the right colour? Because it's actually quite a bluey. Yeah, I don't think that's quite right. Oh, this is quite quite nice. I love this stamp. I can't actually see, but I think it's somebody's face. I <laughs> don't know whose face that is, but oh, somebody important, obviously. Yeah, somebody important's face on that stamp. Can't even see, but hey, already know that. <laughs> already know that I like the stamp. 
oh, do you know, what a shame that I'm not, um, you know, a bit cleverer because I could have actually popped this on as like wings, couldn't I? Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to manage to do that, but... No, not really. They now just look really odd. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know as it's really doing a lot, it's got to be said, but, you know, is it is it doing a lot? I don't know. Um, yeah, it's probably not really, but... I don't think I'm really getting it at quite the right angle either, unfortunately. That's a bit of a shame. How about if I put it back here? Hmm. I'm not sure that that's really... Oh, this again, where I just wish that I could hear you guys because, you know, are you guys actually watching and saying, no, don't do that, that looks terrible. Or are you saying, oh, it looks okay, you know. I just wish I could hear you. And then um, I'd kind of have some guidance and know whether to go for it or not. Right. Let's see what else we can break this up with. So I'm feeling like... She actually could do with some bluey type stuff, really, couldn't she? Um, you know, the bluey purple, because obviously we've got the bluey purple in in her. So let's just take this. Okay. I don't know. This might not be the right colour at all. But let's just see. Not too bad actually. It definitely it's needing blue, isn't it? It sort of needs like the the you know that big strong contrast, I think. So yeah, let's just have a look. So these are my kind of second edition of my like vintage labels and things, but oops. you get them in all different sizes. These are printed in the smallest size, which to be honest. I actually probably wish that I had printed them in a bigger size, but but it's not too bad, I think. So yeah, let's just cut this one down. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, I quite like that. Now let me just quickly have a look in my. Oh, that's massive, 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 massive. Yeah, kind of like swamps the whole thing. So definitely don't really want that. Just having a bit of a rummage through my little um, bits of ephemera. This is my fussy cutting that I've been doing over the last few evenings. And um, yeah, I'm just seeing whether I've got anything, you know, that looks vaguely like it might be, might be okay on here really. Um, seem to have my labels in like the big size and the tiny size. I don't seem to have. Oh look, I was looking for those first, and I. Yep, and now I've now I've got them. Shame I didn't have them before. Right. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay, I think that does look quite nice. So yeah, let's just get rid of this. Okay, right, let's pop this one down. Okie dokie. So we put this one down. It definitely, it just needed the blue, didn't it? To, um, you know, to just break it up, like we said, I think. And um, yeah, so pop this ticket down. Okay, like that. Okay, right. Then we're going to have this postage stamp of the man's face. I mean, I just hope that I'm actually going to put it up the right way. It's because he's got that postmark over his face, so that's what's preventing me from really seeing it. But yeah, <laughs> I can't really tell whether it's. Um, you know, over his face or not over his face. Right, so I'm going to pop her down now. 
Now, obviously, she is going to overhang the, um, you know, the sides of the piece a bit, but that's okay. I don't really mind too much. So she's going to just be like that, overhanging a bit. That's okay. Like that. Just does that look? I'm so sorry when I jog the table, you know, or when I smooch that, you know, it was jogging the table. I do apologise. Right, I'm going to have the label across her because, um, yeah, there's something about that that looks really nice, I think. So rather than down the bottom, because I don't want it to look like, you know, I've put things all the way down intentionally. Um, you know, that just looks a little bit too sort of deliberate. So, yeah, by kind of mixing it up, it just looks a bit better, I think. Oops. Uh, oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? What was I saying about not wanting things all down it? Okay. Whoops. Just wondering whether we could have that. I don't think that's the right colour flower. Um, let's just try this one. Oh, sorry, if you can hear that plane just one of those um you know small kind of planes but yeah it's quite loud oh how pretty does that look i mean i don't know whether that's quite the right color um blue but it's not too bad right let me just quickly quickly ink around this oops Put the pink back i thought let's put a bit of pink on and yeah put the pink back so let me just grab the pink down again just because i'm wondering whether we could like sort of soften this a bit i mean i want it to stand out i can't really describe how i <laughs> how i'm trying to uh, get this to look but yeah i want it to stand out but also at the same time look like it's attached to her so yeah, what do we think to that? Now where would that go to look perfect? Does it need to be back there? Uh, oh, that's such a shame. Right, okay go for this oh it's a bit nerve-wracking now because why am i going for this why could look really rubbish and plus i might stick it in completely the wrong place but hey you know in for a penny in for a pound as they say let's just just go for it yeah okay i'm going to have this here now i'm just wondering whether i've got anything blue you know, like in a darkish, darkish blue or something to put in the centre of that flower. So let me just have a quick look through here. I have got, got these, which mm, that's not right, is it? That's not right at all. Oh, I've got that. Mm, no, I don't think that's quite right either. Right, do we like this here? Yeah, I think I do. So yeah, let's put this one down. Again, it just, it feels like it needs, you know, something kind of bluish to just break that side up, doesn't it? So, you know, so it's not quite so drowning in pink because obviously, you know, we've edged her in pink and, you know, and also I guess to bring in the blue and the purple from that picture to make it kind of like tie in all the elements so yeah should we have that or or just before I do that I'm now thinking oh this might be better should we edge it with some velvet or even maybe some velvet and some some ribbon Maybe even some velvet and some ribbon and a flower. Or are we just getting really carried away now? Oh, don't you just hate it when you can't make up your mind? Well, maybe you guys don't have that trouble, but yeah, I'm definitely having that trouble. 
right now. Um, oh, what else have I got? I've got some sari silk here. This might be better. Let's just try this. Oh, do you know what? I'm thinking this actually at the top. Right, okay. I'm on a plan now, or I have a plan now. Oh, let's hope it's the right plan. That's the thing. Let's hope. Let's hope it's the right plan. So just squish this up across here. Yep. Okay. And okey dokey. Like that. Okay. Oh my goodness, how scrumptious does that colour look up there? Love how that colour looks. That is gorgeous, isn't it, up there? Yeah, definitely, definitely that was the right the right colour or the right right call. I still don't know quite about the bottom. So now I'm thinking, actually, let's edge the bottom in the same as the top. I think that would just finish that off perfectly. So, yeah. Okay, right, so let's just again squish this up. Okay. Like that. And again across here. Like that. <gasps> My goodness, that is such a yummy colour. I can't tell you how much I love that colour. Right. Oh, I love how that looks now. Yeah, it just, sometimes you just need to play around and play around, don't you? And, you know, like if you're not feeling something, then the chances are it's not the right thing, isn't it? You know, and sometimes, I don't know about you, but I get so irritated with myself, keep trying things and, you know, that I end up going with the wrong thing and then thinking, oh, I wish I hadn't done that because, you know, I don't like it so much. So, yeah, sometimes it's worth persevering because you just need to find the right thing, don't you? So I'm going to leave it there now today. Um, I hope that you like the bits that we made. We've had a super pink girly time, haven't we? So uh, yeah, we've got like an overdose of pink going on here. But yeah, I hope that you like everything that we made and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.